Good day, dear students. Today, we are going to talk about translation of words expressing national food. As we know, different cultures have got their national food. They have got um, their own specific food products that they consume every day. Some kind of food may not exist in the second culture. And this kind of problem may cause some kind of translation problems for the translator. Today we are going to talk about this topic and about this issue. How to solve the problem of translating national food into the target language. The main task of the scientific translation is to prove a reader with a clear and precise information. Consequently, the theoretical studies and researches in this field are extremely important. The role of food industry terms in translation is making progress and considered a significant and inspirable sphere of modern food industry sphere. The awareness about the peculiarities of the text and terminology in the food industry sphere is important for those translators who are engaged in the field, in this field. They face double complicated tasks in the process of translation. The right set of classification of terms, however, for the understanding of features of translation food industry. Terminology. We consider classification of terms by structural sign according to their division. There may be brief terms, term phrases you may come across. How to translate them? Which uh, ways of or methodology to choose to give the meaning? Looking at the screen, you cannot imagine how these foods are called. Among the most frequent ways of translation, scanker transliteration, functional replacement, and the their combination serves as a key factor of translation while translating the new uh, formation of the terms. It is necessary to remember that the term is as a rule translated by a corresponding term of other language, therefore such res uh, receptions as analogs, synonymic replacements, descriptive trans transfer are used only when there is no corresponding terms for the translated uh, word. The careful analysis of specific special terminology shows its extreme uh, heterogeneity. There are also multiple valid terms along with the, uh, along with the terms. There have got a lot of meanings. Knowing specific terminology in the sphere of food industry is very important for both translators and interpreters. A special translator faces a lot of difficulties and is related to the food industry, to the process of the food industry. Terms of food industry are often used in a chemi uh, in a chemi technical organizations, food manufacturing institutions. Terms can be different according to their origin while translating specific texts of food industry. Terminology translation should focus on formation of terms and their semantic and grammatical peculiarities. For example, for the industry terminology can be divided into several aspects. And uh, they may belong to different kind of spheres, restaurant terminology, production terminology, technology and so on. So let's begin. Process of food manufacturing terminology. So it means especially uh, these kind of terms can be used uh, during the process of preparing the food, blanching, sun dry, sweetened, according what kind of manufacturing uh, uh, just uh, uh, word is it? Ready-made products terminology, lactose-free, oatmeal, smoked cheese, For sometimes we can meet some kind of words or terminology in ready-made products. And sometimes the clients may ask us to translate these, these kind of texts of ready-made products. Gluten-free, smoked cheese. Before translating, of course, you have to know what kind of product is it. 
Ingredients for preparing food and beverages terminology. Additives. Preservatives. Flavors. Especially sunflower may not exist in the second culture. Have to translate them. Before translating, you have to get much, uh, some information from the net, maybe from the other dictionaries, in order, in order to give the meaning. Even you can generalize. You may give uh, explanation, translation, because this kind of flower may not exist in the second uh, nation. Like I mean. Food industry sphere also co uh, covers other fields of science, such as biology and chemistry because terms in food industry mostly based on the two branches of the industry. Names of elements and life organisms are commonly used with the terms of food industry, for example, zinc, probiotics, omega, and so on. You may come across with biology and chemical terms. Terminology of equipment for making the products, minder, <coughs> blender, conveying, extrude, machines, and so on. This kind of technology or equipment <coughs> technology is closely related with the food industry. Sometimes it is required to know this kind of terminology. So, German candy maker Haribo Bon knows for its known for its fruit flavored gummy beers. Let's look at the translation. Candy confetti. Fruit flavored gummy is translated like a meva mazali marmela. So as they say, this is the complete equivalence. Fruit flowered gummy, as you know, is very famous among the children. Look at the semi calco translation. Caramel popcorn. Caramel popcorn is translated like a caramel li bodro caramel li popcorn. In Uzbek popcorn is translated as, is translated as bodro. But in the modern language adaptation system, it is naming as an international word for corn. So it can be semi calculated caramelli bodro or caramelli for corn as a full character. Some words have got international phrases of terms that shouldn't just demand that and translation. Look at the next phrase limonade. In the UK, limonade is fizzy soda drink, while in the USA, it is a traditional lemonade from the water sugar and real lemons so you should know the difference what is lemonade in uk and fizzy soda, soda drink and what is lemonade in U usa okay lemonade from the water. so here you should know you should differ english american food terminology difference between them such kind of divergence has been uh, accumulated for centuries during the process of English language development in two different historical and cultural surroundings. So, looking at the screen, you can see two naming, namings of the same food. For example, bacon in the UK, it is made prepared for back of the beak, while in USA it is called belly. Then we speak about sausage, the word sausage is also used in the UK. The name banger comes from the fact that sausage is made the parts of the meal. Chipolata, cocktail sausage. Truth, tec uh, uh, technically, uh, chipolatas are long and thin sausages. In Scotland, their name also have got the cocktail sausages. So, different, two different names. When we translate, you should give attention to the spelling, pronunciation, and the meaning of the phrase. Look at the word Kadok Langan. Kennet fish, Kadoklangan bala. Tinnet pineapples, Kadoklangan ananas. Packed milk, Kadoklangan soot. Pinnet strawberry, Kadoklangan kulupne. Boxes sweet corn, Kadoklangan shrimp, Makija horror. While translating into Uzbek, we use the same verb. But while translating into English, you should know, you should be aware of choosing the verb. Because different tinned foods have got different terminology. Now let's talk about the translation of menus. When we talk about translation menus, we may come across with difficulties in translation. Look, especially we just uh, we present some parts taken from the different menus from the different restaurants. Salad and snacks. 
Saat Tashkent. How to translate it into English? They give the, the same word without translating Tashkent, but here below they give explanation. Veal strips with a sweet radish and fried onions. So here they give explanation to the reader. When we speak about kaze, homemade horse sausages. So they don't translate the word kaze, they translate read. But here, after this word, they give explanation, full and in details. When we speak about the translation of shurva, so soups, mashkurda, traditional pea soap, they translate read the word mashkurda and give explanatory translation, traditional soap, pea soap. And while reading the second sentence, the reader will clearly understand what soup is it. When we speak about the next shorba, clear uh, mash soup with the carrots and potatoes, clear lamp soup with the carrots and potatoes. When they read shorba, they will not understand what does it mean. But after the reading, the second explanation, foreigners or tourists will understand what kind of soup is it. Khayma shorba. Surpa, surpa with a lamp fricadels. They will understand what kind of. They will have general idea what they are, they are going to consume to have. When they say mampar, you can see the explanation. Ugra, chicken soup with a homemade noodles. Chalon. Cold sour milk soap with a veal strips, cucumber, and uh, so on. Pilaf. Explanation. Give attention. Rice with lamb prepared in the kazan. Rice with lamb. Some kind of general information will appear in the mind of reader. Kaurma laman. Homemade pasta fried with a lamb, papers, and tomatoes. When we speak about chashlik, the hair right here. Ask your viewers what it is. When they say about Kaur Malagman, homemade noodles with lamp. Different kind of uh, translation you can meet in menus. When we say Kima Shashlik, delicious, juicy Shashlik made of the minced um, lamps, minced lime lamps. So here, the guest, the foreigner, will understand what kind of food it is. So, it means that giving the national food translation, you may trust it right to copy the name uh, in the letters of the foreign language and as well as after it should give short definition what this food consists of. Looking at the translation or translation of Manta, you can see large steamed dumplings stuffed with a lamb or little chicken with herbs, manta with pumpkin. After the explanation, you can give the second name, manta with pumpkin. The reader will understand what is manta. When we speak about tabaka, they add some kind of addition. Crispy chicken, they add the word crispy chicken. Reading the word tabaka, they, they may not understand what kind of word it is, what kind of food it is. While giving additional explanation, crispy chicken, they will understand that it is related to chicken meat. Young juicy chicken fried on a hot black stones served with tomato herbal sauce. So after it, they additionally give explanation. Crispy chicken, they adopt, they modify the translation into the uh, other language to make the reader to understand it easily. So it depends on the talent of translator. When we chuara, tiny boiled or roasted dumpling with a lamb or a chicken. Chuchuara, first of all, they write the name of the food, then give explanation. When they write to, to give extra information about chuchuara, types of them, they will not translate it in the second time because uh, above they give the translation. Look at the translation of some stuff. Baked pie, stuffed with a lamb, call for chicken. In the second sentence, they didn't trust some service pumpkin and potato. That's enough because the first time they gave 
divination. That was all for today. Thank you very much for your attention.